Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So today's video is going to be my episode 2 of my Road to Max series. And I'm going to be showing you guys my double XP gains. And I really hope you guys had an amazing double XP weekend. And you were able to get some pretty awesome gains like I did. So anyway, let's get on with the video. And I'll show you all the levels I managed to get over this double XP weekend. So first I started off with the smithing and I was smithing room plate body plus threes up to plus fives and then I ended up selling them at plus fives. I was already at 97 smithing so I was fairly close to 99 anyway and this 99 really didn't take too long. I managed to get it in about two or three hours and I was fairly AFK while I was doing this so I wasn't doing it as efficient as possible like heating up the bars that much but I did manage to get 99 so that was pretty awesome and if you guys can remember back to my double XP plans I planned on getting a 99 smithing as well as work on 99 fire making 99 cooking and 99 agility I had about 650 silver hawk feathers um, on my boots which I uh, managed to use all of it didn't quite get me to 99, but I will show you that later. So here I decided to go and get my smithing cape. And this cape looks pretty nice. It actually has a really useful ability when smithing. So uh, I'm definitely going to use it. I'm probably going to work on getting masterwork armor eventually. And here's the cape. It looks pretty nice. Yeah, pretty nice cape. Got my smithing gear on still, so looks pretty good. But uh, yeah, I am going to work on getting Masterwork Armor. That might be in my Road to Max Cash series. I'm not sure. Just because I want to focus on getting 99s now. And then I'll, you know, work on the PVM stuff later. So the next goal was getting 99 Fire Making. And I had a bunch of Protein Logs and Protein Packs. So I did use all of those. I had about 800 or 900 Protein Logs that I used which got me up to 98 fire making and then I did magic logs up to 99 so there's another 99 completed um, I went from 96 to 99 this weekend so it wasn't too bad but it was a lot of XP and uh, I only had to do about 700k XP using magic logs so that was pretty nice and then here is that fire making cape this cape looks pretty nice as well. It doesn't really have too many useful, oh well it's perk isn't really that useful, just uh, acts as a light source so I probably won't be wearing it much, maybe just because it looks kind of cool. I'll take that uh, chef hat off because I'm working on cooking next. But yeah, it's a pretty nice cape and it's nice to have that 99 out of the way so I don't have to think about that anymore. So here is my last level of cooking. I actually have made it to 99. I didn't really know if I was going to, and I, I know it seems like it's pretty fast, like I'm only showing you the 99th level, but uh, I went from 91 to 99 this weekend, and that was I cooked about 15,000 shark, which was a lot, and it took a long time. So this was a long grind. It, it's it seems like it wasn't, but it really was, and I'm so glad to have the skill out of the way because I really don't like cooking at all, which is why I did it on Double XP Weekend. And there it is, 99 cooking. So that's my third 99 this weekend. And as you can see on my skills, I have 98 agility, and I'm out of Silverhawk Feathers. I have like 500 or 600,000 XP left, so I'm thinking I might just grind that out on the Heffin Agility course just so I can knock out another 99 as well. And the cooking cape actually looks really nice. It's a pretty nice 99 skill cape. So I might even wear this around a little bit just because it looks pretty nice, brand new as well. I didn't have it before, obviously, so um, I'm kind of liking it. I'm going to rock it for a bit. It has a really nice perk actually, like not being able to burn food at all. This cape is actually amazing, especially if you're going for 120 cooking. Uh, but here it is, 
yeah, it looks pretty nice. Nice purple. I actually like purple, so yeah, cape looks really nice to me. And I like the old skill capes so much more than the new ones. Like, as you can see, the new one, the head chef has the new one on. I, I like the retro skill capes by far on pretty much every skill cape. And so, as I mentioned earlier, I was going to just knock out this 99 agility, doing the half an agility course, so that is what I actually did. And it, it didn't take too long, I guess. It was, I mean, a few hours, which kind of sucked, but now we never have to do agility again, and that is so great because I don't think anyone who plays RuneScape actually enjoys this skill. It is probably one of the worst skills in the game. I, I think runecrafting is pretty bad as well, but there it is, 99 agility, and that, that is done. So that is my fourth 99 this double XP weekend, and now I actually only have seven left if you count an invention, because invention really won't take too long. Um, I'm at 96 already. So I only have fishing, farming, invention, divination, and then I have dungeoneering and runecrafting left. So that is it, and I'm getting pretty close to uh, actually maxing. I mean, my lowest is dungeoneering at 86, and that's a pretty high level. And here are all of my levels before and after double XP weekend. So, as you can see, I managed to get 96 to 99 agility, 97 to 99 smithing. I also got 91 to 99 cooking, and 96 to 99 fire making. And then I did get two thieving levels, so I'm up to 89. And that's probably the next skill I'm going to go for, 99. Um, and I might also do invention as well, because that's... Really, I need 3 mil XP and invention, and that shouldn't take too long at all. Um, the last skill that I'll probably end up getting 99 is runecrafting. Um, that or divination, because divination is a skill that I really dislike as well. But I'd say I'm getting really close to maxing, and I could do it fairly soon. I'm thinking maybe a month or two, uh, maybe longer, it depends on how much I actually get into uh, skilling, because I'm not a, really a fan of skilling, I'm more a fan of PVM, so, I mean, we'll see how that goes. Um, it's looking pretty good. I have seven skills left, um, so I'm going to try and knock those out um, shortly, and I'll keep on coming out with these Road to Max series videos for you guys. So, anyway, guys, that is it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed, and I hope you guys had some really awesome double XP gains like me. Um, but uh, anyway, guys, I'll see you on the next one. Peace.